Good morning, Chef Tyree here for you on Eating to Live. You know, today we're gonna do an unusual recipe and one that I've seen on YouTube for countless of times where it's either too much eggs or too much something. And I'm talking about making an alternative pancake without using traditional pancake flour. So today's episode, we're gonna use coconut flour and make a tasty pancake out of it. So like I said, uh, stay tuned and enjoy the show here on Eating to Live. I'm just a piece of a two-part puzzle, nothing on my own, only happy when I'm loving someone, happy when I'm loving someone. Okay, so here's our list of ingredients. Of course, we have one bowl for mixing, one egg, two ounces of your uh, non-dairy milk, one packet of stevia, vanilla, baking powder, one teaspoon of sasayan husk, and I'll explain what that's for in a minute, and two tablespoons of coconut flour. Sasayan husk is a powder that we use to hold everything together, otherwise it will fall apart. And it's a good source of fiber. Okay, so we're gonna start off with one egg. Then we're gonna beat this guy up. So now our egg has been beaten up. <laughs> now we're gonna put in our two ounces of milk. Now we're gonna put in our tablespoon of vanilla. Now we're gonna start adding in our dry ingredients. Here's our two tablespoons of coconut flour. What I like to do is I like to put it on the top because once I start mixing it, it turns like a paste really fast. Here's our teaspoon of Sicilian husk. One teaspoon of baking powder. One packet of stevia. And then I'm gonna mix it and I'll be right back. Okay, so the reason why I waited to mix it and have my pan ready, because once I start mixing it, it's gonna immediately thicken up like no buns tomorrow. So here it goes. Let's get everything on the sides. And you think, and the problem with people when they have this is they, they act like a regular pancake batter with flour. And you get a big, huge ball of mush. So just mix it really good, get everything incorporated. So now, we're gonna get our coconut batter and we're gonna make little pancakes. As you can see how fast it uh, became pretty uh, firm. One thing that I like to do is I like to cover it up, since I don't have a, a lid for this pan, I want to cover it up so I can keep some of the heat inside and cook it thoroughly inside. And that's about two minutes, and we'll come back and flip it. All right, so now we're gonna check these little guys. As you can see how they fluffed up, because we uh, trapped the heat inside. So now we're gonna flip them over. Ooh, he landed on him almost. Get off me! I said get off me! Bam! All right, now we're gonna cover it up in another two minutes. 
All right, now we're gonna check them. Ooh, look at that. Pancake goodness. And we're just gonna give them a little turn just to make sure the other side is cooked thoroughly. But pretty much, they are done little critters. And here we go. Here's our finished product. Cooking the pancakes, bacon, eggs with some spinach. Mm-mm. And there you have it. Coconut flour pancakes. Here, eating to live. When you want something healthier, something that's more beneficial for a diabetic, well, pancakes are diabetic friendly. Neither is all the stuff that go with it. But try it, taste it, let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, please put them on the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification button. So here on Eating to Live, so we can bring you more shows. Here on Eating to Live.